My SPS dominant BioCube 29 have been having problems lately. Many of my colonies have lost some of their color, and a couple of small frags had died. On closer inspection, we found out what the problem is. Red bugs. Red bugs are very tiny copepods that live on Acropora corals. They irritate the Acropora and live off the mucus that's secreted as a defense mechanism. They usually don't kill corals, they just irritate them and cause slow growth rates. You can see a couple of them here on this TSA Colt 45, but they're much more visible when I zoom in on this badly bleached unknown Acropora. Dragon face pipefish and select types of wrasse will eat red bugs, but they won't do enough to eradicate them from the tank. The only known way to eradicate them is using a drug known as milibamycin oxy. The rest of this video will cover my journey of using milibamycin oxime to eliminate red bugs from my Acropora tank. Milibamycin oxime is the active drug in a dog medication known as Interceptor. Veterinarians must prescribe this to you, and in this case, my last name is Bond. They assumed my dog's first name is Coral, which I thought was funny. It can be difficult to get a prescription for this. Veterinarians that specialize in exotic pets seem to be a little bit more open to prescribing it. These six pills cost me about $45 once I obtained the prescription. Of course, we're treating a fish tank and not a dog, so we need to figure out how much of these pills I need to put into the tank to effectively treat for red bugs. Reefs.com has a handy calculator where you can enter the type of pill you have and the gross volume of your tank to come up with the exact amount of interceptor that you need to add. I'll link to the reefs.com calculator in the description. It tells me I need about 40% of one pill or 2.4 milligrams to treat my 29 gallon tank. The pills are very tiny, so cutting them into halves and quarters is possible, but you'll never get it exactly right. Hobbyists on message boards have indicated that you can even double or even triple their suggested dose with no real effects to anything except killing off red bugs. While I cut up the pill, let's also explain that Interceptor comes in a couple of different varieties. Interceptor Plus also includes Prozantiquel, which you may also know as Prazipro. Interceptor Plus is perfectly fine to use, just be aware that it will also kill any worms, including fan worms, feather dusters, and bristle worms that you may want to actually keep in your tank. After grinding up half of a pill, or slightly less, I'll add the powder to my magnetic stirrer. This needs to be completely dissolved in order to add to the tank. The magnetic stirrer is handy rather than having to sit there and manually stir this into a solution. The crushed pill needs to be fully dissolved. There's no specific amount of water that's needed to make that dissolving happen. I put a couple of scoops of tank water in. I set everything on the magnetic stir and let it run for about 20 minutes until there were no visible grains in the solution. Interceptor is perfectly safe for most other tank occupants, the exceptions being crabs, copepods, and shrimp. I collected all of my hermit crabs and moved them over to my LPS tank in this little holding area so I could dose the tank and clear all the medication. We want the medication to circulate in the system for several hours, so we need to turn off all of our export methods. The protein skimmer's intake air line is cut off, but not the pump. Water needs to circulate through the skimmer so that any red bugs active in the skimmer are killed. We turn off the UV filter and also remove the, any carbon media. In this case, it's Chemipure Elite. That I take out and save for later. Resuming these export methods will eliminate the medication from the system within about 90 minutes. Reefing message boards are very clear that only shrimps and crabs are killed by milibamycin oxime. I am still concerned about a couple of things in here though, specifically my Duresa clam and my ornamental sponge. There's not a lot of information about sponges and their survivability to this treatment. It is very clear though that my urchin 
and my brittle star will be perfectly fine. There is, of course, in this tank a coral banded shrimp. I'm expecting that coral banded shrimp will get stunned by the treatment, and I hope to be able to grab him and then put him into this fresh we made water. So we'll pour in the medication to start the treatment and check back in every few hours to see how the tank is doing. Here's what the red bugs looked like right after I added the medication. There's no immediate impact, but it's a good baseline to compare later. Most resources I've found say it takes between two and six hours to see any significant change. So we'll check back soon. Two hours into the treatment, we're beginning to see impacts to the tank. The red bugs are definitely slowing down. They're scurrying around on the coral less. A few of them even blow right off of the coral as the wave maker action happens. So this is very positive. The overall number of red bugs is also reduced. There might be a few impacts in the tank though. This TSA Bill Murray has a lot of polyp retraction. I'm going to keep an eye on it. Also, I found this other hermit crab that was hiding and unfortunately appears to not have made it. Although it's sad to lose the crab, it is proof that the medication is working. By the 12 hour mark, we're seeing very significant impacts in the tank. Essentially, all red bugs are gone at this point. To remove the medication, I restarted the skimmer and put carbon back in the sump area. I checked all three Acropora that had red bugs that were visible and there was none to be found. This is the unknown acro that was really infested. Uh, you can zoom in and see in different color schemes, no red bugs. So milibomycin oxime did its job of eliminating red bugs in this tank. The treatment is not over yet though. Milibomycin oxime needs to be administered three times, once per week over three weeks, to ensure that all the red bugs and their eggs and all future generations of red bugs are eliminated. So now we're back one week later and the tank is looking great. We're even getting some coral color returning, uh, particularly those corals that were heavily infested. The big surprise is that my coral banded shrimp survived perfectly fine, didn't even seem affected by the treatment. The treatment had no impact on any invertebrates except for copepods and crabs. My clam, sponge, brittle star, and urchin showed no impacts at all, and all the snails are perfectly fine. Other than some momentary polyp retraction, I didn't notice any impacts to corals. I'll repeat the dosing now and again in one week to ensure that all future generations of red bugs are eliminated. My second treatment was actually at double the dose. This had no effect to any of the animals except the coral banded shrimp, which I was able to get out of the tank and rehome. Overall, milibomycin oxium delivered as advertised. Although it's hard to get, it's worth the effort and has very minimal impacts on your tank. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please consider a like and subscribe to support the channel.